Did Martin Luther Go on a Diet of Worms? by Tui Vo. Did Martin Luther go on a diet of worms? Did he eat them? Those squishy, mushy, vermin crawling with germs? Or was it something else? Listen in and see if this diet of worms is what it appears to be. This baby is Martin Luther. He was born in Germany on November the 10th, 1483. His dad worked in mining. His mom had eight kids in all. He easily excelled at school and in college he studied law. One day, on Luther's way home, a lightning bolt struck so closely that to St. Anna he cried, since he nearly died, that if he lived, a monk he would be. As a monk, he prayed and worked hard. He fasted and confessed, but then he would learn that God's love is not earned, but could be freely possessed. It was that blessed day when he read Romans chapter 1. The righteous shall live by faith. Man is saved by grace alone. The church instead said differently and sent indulgences to sell. All you need is a coin or two to make a lost soul well. To dispute those foul practices, in 1517 he hammered the 95 Theses to a church door on Halloween. The invention of the printing press dispersed the information. His writing went throughout Germany and sparked the Reformation. At the Diet of Worms, he was threatened punishment if he did not recant. But he could not go against conscience nor scripture, so he firmly held his stance. So you see, this diet was an assembly, and Worms was the city where Luther would be called to defend the 95 Theses, all his treaties, and the rest of the works he had penned. He later wrote many hymns and the Bible he would also translate. Thankfully, history would show that as far as we know, there were never any worms on his plate. He declared, I'll trust in God's unchanging word till soul and body sever. For though all things shall pass away, his word shall stand forever.